client journey. I wonder how many of you think about when that client inquires, when you meet that client for the first time, when that client comes through the door, when you pick up the phone for the first time, when you read that first email from your client. I wonder how many of you actually think of the history of that client, what I call the client journey. And the client journey is all about understanding the mentality of the client and actually it's very likely that that client has spent several years trying to find the right help, trying to find the right support, trying to find someone to help them achieve what they're looking to achieve, whether that be health, well-being, business, fitness, nutrition, uh, any form of coaching, because we are all coaches at the end of the day in some way, shape or form. But the client journey looks at actually understanding that that client has been on a long journey and they finally come across you as the practitioner of choice. Or you may be one of two or three practitioners of choice and they're just inquiring to see if you can help them or not. So the first thing that you would do with something that important, and this is how you've got to look at your clients, they're that important, they're the holy grail of everything that you do. They represent income, uh, the outcome rep looks at your reputation, they are the holy grail of everything that you do and you have to make a success of that meeting. So the first thing you do is when they inquire, you make sure you respond in an appropriate way and quickly. Okay, 75% of clients wait more than 48 hours for a response from a practitioner. Quite frankly, that is unbelievable. You respond straight away. Even if you respond on email saying that you will be in touch later that day when you finish your clinic. Because that client journey has gone on for a long time. Okay, so you need to be the difference that makes the difference in the way you respond, how quickly you respond, and what you do. The second lesson is to make sure that you ha allow and build yourself enough time to build that necessary rapport with the client. Okay, and I recommend that all practitioners have a free 20 minute consultation on the telephone that enables you to build that rapport, get to know that client, um, and really explain what it is that you can do to help them. Building rapport is 90% of the uh, way there in terms of your success and what you can do for that client. Once they feel comfortable, they trust you, they're more likely to book with you. So build that rapport and have in your process that 20 minute consultation free and upfront that enables you to build that rapport. It's very, very, very important. And the second thing I've found that really works is that um, I'm sure you do this anyway, but show a, from, from, the, from the start a genuine interest and concern about that client. Okay, So you use your voice tonality uh, and the way and the manner in which you speak to the client, but show, number one, genuine concern. Genuine concern. Number two, I think it's really, really important that you offer the client an appointment quite quickly, but at the same time, uh, you use a certain reverse psychology in terms of the fact that you are very busy and how quickly would the client like to be seen because um, normally you have a couple of weeks wait but on this occasion because it sounds quite important you're happy to fit that client in. So just a little reverse psychology making the client want to see you, want to see you. And the third thing to remember is ensure that you tell the client that you can help them. Okay, that things are going to be okay, you'll do your best to help them and you do get good results from your clinic. So to give that client um, motivation and belief that you can help them is really, really, really important. You mustn't fudge around that. You're a professional practitioner, you're, you're, you know, you're working in the area of nutrition uh, or one of the other areas and you can help them tell them that. They've been on a long journey, often several years, they found you answer and respond immediately, show genuine care and interest, use a little reverse psychology and book them in and reassure that you can help them. I found those things, the uh, proficiency, and what I mean by that is inquiry to appointment rate in the life practice is over 90%, and that's how we do it, okay?